that a lot of people have. It's just you know, that spot on the floor that you're using a defender at that spot to help protect the tunnel in there. And then he talks about Big T as we see an easy fast break layup off of a, a Dallas. Uh, that she goes, yes, yeah, my dad taught all of us how to shoot. Dad, you did a good job. Neka Gumake, great job right down the tunnel. Arike takes it, put a little too much backward English on it. Cherry picking his Neka easy too. Campes the rebound. That's number five. Tolliver quickly gets it to Neka who gets the roll. Dad D. Brown played in the NBA. Here is Neka, quarter shot, nothing but net. She might have gotten the worst end of that. That's only her first personal foul. Here is Neka Gumake elevates over Gray. Well, we that know. is sweet for LA. Again, going after franchise win number 500. Neka doing everything she can. Here again, is that just little. Christy Tolliver allows Neka to roll. Nothing Tierra McCowan could do on that. Eight seconds to shoot for the Sparks. They've got their starting five back in and make some pay. Efficiency. Efficiency. And the Liberty take its first lead of the contest. Hit the six-minute mark here in the early going. Here's Necker off glass there. Try to go down to Ken Base, turns and faces against Dolson. Cut it to the basket. Oh, Gul McKay, beautiful feed there from Liz Ken Inescu. That one stolen by Neca, and there's going to be a foul there against Howard. Nice defense there by Inescu to distract that shot. Brown, meanwhile, with the theft at half court. Sparks with numbers. Bounce pass. Neca, the left hand, good. And that stops the Liberty run. And she is being evaluated for a concussion. So Allen being evaluated for a concussion will not return. Here's Neko Bumake in the lane. Canada lost it momentarily. Neko the good position. The deflection from behind by Howard, but Bumake sticks with it. Neko puts the sparks back in front. Bumake, the jab against Howard. Pulls up over now, and Neca right of the lane. Sabrina Unescu makes him pay. Neca surveying the situation, the nice one-two pull-up jumper over Howard. She only played 13 minutes in the loss to the Dream the other night. Sandy Brondello saying, with the size of the Sparks, a cleaner second half. Remember, we had 18 combined turnovers in the first, just six here in the second so far. Nice feed, beautiful. Unselfish play there from Cam Beige. Balls inbounded to Howard, right back Ionescu. Sabrina got caught in the air, stolen away by Necker. And a foul charge from behind to Howard. Tolliver, two player game with her and Necker. Slips the pass, Necker catches, fires, no. Rebound tipped out to her, she swings it out. Katie Lou, another opportunity this time. Third turnover of the night for Chicago. Necker down the lane. Necker lay it up and in. Canada surveying the court. The golden Necker. Necker the catch. Necker the split and lays it up off the window. When you need a bucket, you know who to call. Nice swing pass inside to Necker. Let her do the work. Left to right, bank. This is a first quarter. Somewhat reminiscent of the first half for Chicago the other night against Atlanta. Here's another steal. Canada's a crossover. And here's LA trying to initiate the offense. Lou throws up the three and she knocks it down. Katie Lou coming off those 16 points the other night. Big time shot maker. Necker, nice catch underneath. You see it right here, Jordan Canada getting her with the pass. CP just a little late. And the lead balloons back to 14. Sykes, the nice pick and roll there with Necker. That stare. Whew. You told Roz the other night, if you could be an emoji, you'd have the two hands up emoji. Great move there by Necker. Here's Necker with seven. Against Stevens, the push shot, and there it is. 
5,000 points. Your 5,000th point. Two dribble rise up over the defense. Neka Agwumake making every single point count. The team has to completely wipe away that big win. The word was yesterday was yesterday, today is today, and with that basket, Neka Ogumake now moves to 20th on the WNBA's all-time scoring list. 0 for 3 from the field to start. And that's great defense under control by Sykes. Now Neka goes a little bit outside, so we saw her with the layup, now moving to the outside. Six-point difference, Sparks have the lead. Neka for three! And LA is wasting no time bringing the ball up the floor. Getting right into its offense. Neka Gumake spins and scores. As New York tries to get back in this basketball game. Neka Gumake showing her number down low. Fades and scores. Not what Sandy Brondello wants for her basketball. Neka steps into a three. Shooters roll. That kind of night for LA. New York has seven offensive rebounds, but just has not been able to convert a lot of second chance opportunities. Samuelson to Agumake. That works out well. Give Neka Agumake a crowd around her, make it tough for her to score, and also make it tough for her to get the basketball. We talked about the Sparks. Neka Agumake and one. LA snapping his three game losing streak with an 86 79 win against Indiana. There's Neko Bumake coming off that 35 point performance. The up and under significant there and off the glass by Neko. Neko Agumake's one on one game. There's so much shifting of momentum and body, but at the whole play. $160. Get your tickets right now at lasparks.com. Here's Neko working in the paint. The spin move falling away, Neko. Drains the bucket. Back to the basket, shoulder shimmy, turn around over the double team, fade away, hang time, jumper to go. There's got to be help. Neka on the screen roll, the step back, nothing but the bottom. And Neka, she's in her bag. Sykes looking for a boomer K. Good idea. Double team comes, finds her sister, muscles it up over two, and off the window. Seven on the shot clock for Atlanta. Great defense here by LA. They go down to Parker, gets the smaller Sykes. NECA comes with the double team, the steal, the long lead pass to Little Sis. Oh, the spin move! Lexi. Cross court Canada. NECA steps into a three. She got it. In the double figures now with 11. But not going to win that discussion. A nice ball movement. Everybody got a touch. Kia Vaughn, four fouls in six minutes in that first half. As Obuma K goes off one leg, falling away. Just showing all the ways she can get it done, her ball handling skills. She's a nice job of just creating enough space to get her shot off, plus her elevation. Canada still dancing. Out to Neka. She'll try a three. Neka Obuma knocks down. Left handed jump hook, no good from Brianna. They brought a little help that time. Ooh, Agumake with good post position on Lavender. Jump hook is good. Canada with it. Finds Agumake. Catch and shoot from the wing. Good looking shot there right over Brianna Stewart. Yeah, that time the trap of LA forcing the turnover. And to the rack, Agumake makes it an 11-0 run. Lexi keeps the dribble, now 40 seconds left. Drop step, Neka. Ooh, that was a nice move there by Agumake. And one, she'll go to the free throw line, foul on Gabby. Back to the bucket right here with the smaller Williams on her. She goes to that left hand. Another bucket for Stewart. And beige to Neka. That one's too easy right there. A little curl cut in the layup. 63-50. Lizzie with five on the game. And right to the cut, Lexi Brown scores. Well, Gabby Williams was working so hard to get positioned in the paint. Delivered a nice pass. Ooh, nice pass there. Just almost looked like it between the wickets, but I think it did just split two defenders. Between the wickets and the finish with the weak side coming over.
That's just really good teamwork. Right in between the two defenders. We had a big L.A. run in the second quarter, answered by a big Seattle run. It was an 11-0 L.A. run and an 8-0 Seattle run, and NECA knocks that one down. Here's Agumake driving in on Stewie. Has to go up oh. and over Stewie's long arm. What a tough shot with the left. 12 in the shot clock. Sykes, they're going right back to the well in Cambage. Extra pass. Oh, brilliant move there by Neka Gumake. Fakes with the left, puts it on the floor once, and finishes with the right. It's a two point game. Lexi Brown, team's highest volume three point shooter, getting it to Cambage. Inside to Neko Agumake, and it doesn't get much easier than that. Made the defensive move. And how great is it to have Shea back with major minutes now that she's over that back issue? Neko Agumake is not going to miss from there. NECA came into this game 23 points shy of 4,800 career. Coming up with the steal there as they pick Gustafson's pocket. 29-24, make it. As Carter barely hangs on to it, nice dish inside to Aguma. Out to Diggin Smith for three. Off the iron, rebound to Sykes, and she's running. Pass broken up, but Carter gets it anyway and finds Neca underneath. And those Zeus ball, 50-50 balls are going to the Sparks. But we have a ton of great partners as well. So from a business perspective and, and from a ticket sales perspective, things are great. We're hearing from fans that are super appreciative. The CEO has graciously agreed to stay with us into halftime as Neko Gumake stops the bleeding a little bit for the spark. She played a lot of tough minutes against Connecticut on Friday, always guarding a bigger person like right there, Neko Ogumake. Katie Lou Samuelson, quiet. She had a career high four made threes against the Merck last time. You don't have to shoot it from the outside when Neko's working so hard on the inside. Lexi Brown. Kicking it out to Chenay, triple on the way, no. Battle for the rebound, won by Neka. Agumake has 16. Jefferson had to double pump that one. Looked like Canada may have got a piece of it. Meanwhile, Slim looking to run. Two on two, nice nifty bounce pass underneath Neck in the bucket and the foul. Kennedy Carter, who just checked into the game, one of the new faces for these LA Sparks. Here's Neka, the crossover. The floater is good. Neko Gumake sparks with the ball in the front court on a 7-0 run. Here's Slim. Underneath Neko, oh, nice pass, block to block to her sister. Puck it in the foul. Past teams, other coaches, other groups and leagues. Bring their support. teams. There's Neko for the bucket. Go high, low. Neka tried the lob there, gets her own rebound. Goes right back up and gets the bucket. Canada surveying the field. Neka, the trailer. Neka, the layup. Out of the timeout. Here's Powers with it. Neka, the theft. Agumake, the crossover in the paint. Spin cycle up and under left hand. No. Chene fighting for it. Back up off glass. No. Here's Lexi. Cambage with it, guarded by McBride up top. Neka, the nice pump fake, and able to get it over the outstretched arm of fouls there. Here's Powers, off the handoff. Nice hands there by Lexi. Brown, the bounce pass ahead to Neka. Neka, off glass, good. Nice move in the lane there to get past Jefferson. Canada. Neka. Oh, what a move. Oh, oh, pretty play there by Neka. That is beautiful. Step through, finesse, footwork, and touch. Like the play from them in Chicago despite the loss on Saturday. Here they are battling hard against LA. Sparks trying to win their home opener. Carter can't get it, but Neka is there for the tip. Waits for traffic to clear. Tries to go up and under. No foul called. Neka stays with it. Ball did not hit the rim, but kicks it out. Lexi in three, she ties it. Lexi Brown, her fourth triple of the night. Time out, Minnesota. 75 points per is this Miss 16. Plants. Agumake has that one right away. 
And one way you beat a good defense is move that ball. One thing I love to see with Natasha Cloud is her decision making. When is it time for her to facilitate versus when do I need to take over as a score? Aguma K for three. Atkins guarded by Brown. Swing pass stolen away by Necker. Here's JC with the two on one for the Sparks to Lexi. The trailer is Samuelson. Nice pass underneath. Atkins guarded by Brown. Swing pass stolen away by Necker. Here's JC with the two on one for the Sparks to Lexi. The trailer is Samuelson. Nice pass underneath to Cheney on the doorstep. And was war rewarded by unselfish team play. Trying to go to Austin again and is poked away. Here's Cheney. Her energy is contagious coming in here. Bounce pass underneath Necker at the doorstep. Tolliver takes the hand off. Eight to shoot. Mecca in the lane. Can't get it off. Gladly gets her own miss. Slips through. And the goal, Mike Tebow says, is hopefully not to allow her to play more than two games in a week. And of course, travel and a bunch of other factors go into that as Mecca gets the friendly bounce. Here's Austin. Against Sykes. Can't get it. Follows her own miss. Blows that one too. Atkins is still underneath. Austin rejected there by Necker. Atkins staying with it and she'll earn a trip to the foul line. I think there's good things that come out of that. Players are ready, no matter who's on the court, to step up. Necker diving to the lane and Canada oh. finds it. The Sparks are allowing a run here off of their turnovers. They've got to get back to valuing the ball. And still there by Necka underneath. 11th turnover of the night for Washington. Coach Fred Williams. Mystics have the ball to start this second half, but not anymore. As Neko Gumake comes and picks up the steal. In transition, here's Slim. Out to loose. Space for three. She got it. So LA will have a third try at it this time down. Necker. Up and over Hines Allen that time and gets it to fall. She's got 15 now. Like you gotta commend this level of work ethic. It won't show up on the stat sheet. Sing it for me, Ross. And then on this end, it's the high low. Giving Coach Fred great minutes off the bench tonight. Here's Cam Bay the deep position. And holds off the defender with one arm and kisses it off the glass with the other. Tiana Hawkins might be a player out of Maryland. Beautiful feed from Canada. And neck of the beneficiary. She's up to 19 now. Samuelson. Around a Chimay screen, neck up top. They go high, low, sister to sister, off glass. Stagnant offense that we have seen this season is plaguing the links right now. Sykes, the give and go with the Gumake. Neka, a Gumake. Carter finds a Gumake. Neka with a nice move with the left hand. Yeah, fantastic pass by Carter. 9.45 mark of the second quarter for the Lynx. The last six minutes without a field goal until that one. Agumake gets position underneath, gets a shot off the glass. Brown misses her three-point try. Sykes with the offensive rebound. Agumake, two from the baseline. Powers gets a couple quick points right away, but has to start on the defensive end of the court. Ooh, and now Powers is holding her left knee. Came up, and boy, has it turned into a, one of those epic Minnesota-Los Angeles battles in the second half. Gets it into Ogumake. She misses the shot, but gets the putback. Neka Ogumake right there to clean up her own miss. We'll have to go to the bench with her second foul of this first quarter. Natalia Chan will check into the game for the first time tonight. Neka Muslin. Lou. The rebound right into the lap of Sykes. What a kick out to Neka for three. In the gym at night. She told me she goes alone, sometimes 9, 10 p.m., getting extra shots up. But she's found the balance of putting too much pressure on herself, but also stops and pops in the lane with a friendly fire there from behind, but the basket still falls. Ahead of the pack is Necker, and she gets the layup. The field, 20 of 27. Sparks still trying to get it going on the offensive end. Here's Carter. It's Powers. The Browns pass to Nick. The jump shot. Baseline rattles in. This is an area where you miss a player like Liz Cambage. Absolutely. Here's a steal by Katie Lou. Lou in transition. Cross court Sykes. 
Minnesota defense gets back. Up as she surveys the court, finds Neca. Good idea. Baseline J won't fall. Cheney fighting for it. Canada gets it in the corner. Here's Sykes. Dumps it down. Neca at the door. Starts a little bit in disarray. And I spoke with Coach, interim head coach Fred Williams before the game. He talked about during these tumultuous times. That's mean, but when you think about what the Sparks have done and gone through this season, to still be sitting at eight and fighting. Here we go. Sykes. Corner. Necker. Three. She got it. The MVP oh, chance from Sparks fans here. All of a sudden, fans rallying around Necker with an MVP chant here behind us. And she gets going around being on a lot of programs yes. talking about it. Yeah, she was so on Good Morning her. America this morning. We'll have. And those two steals. That's see Hall, who's not in the lineup. She's battling a wrist injury. But three of those four have been tremendous contributors for the Fever so far this season. Here's Neca working against Egbo off glass. Player. D Rob the floater. Egbo, the offensive rebound, too strong on the putback. And here's Sykes with the board. Sykes kicks it out, Canada. Neca, the straightaway three. And she gets it. It's gotten going a little bit here. Carlos Knox, the interim head coach and caretaker of the bling. Nice feed inbounds to Ogumake, who. Well, scoring has mostly been coming on the perimeter for the Fever so far. Points in the paint tonight, 10 to 2 in favor of the Sparks, despite Cambage being out. Nice pocket pass there from Canada. Of the 15 for the Sparks. That was the second personal against Inksler, so she'll go back to the bench. Fighting for it into the hands of Henderson now. The long lead pass to Smith. Nice defense from behind there by Katie Lou. Here comes Neca one on one against Egbo. Oh, spin cycle left hand. Ne Looking inside for Egbo. Turning against Nelson Adona. Nice defense there by the rookie from UConn. A lot of contact there. Egbo thought she might have gotten hit, but it was a lot of basketball. The seal by Neca, the reverse is the largest deficit so far early. Neca trying to cut it in half. Let's take a look at this Sparks team and shorthanded a bunch this season for of the fever. And Tiffany Mitchell with 16 of those 18 for Carlos Knox. Here's Canada. Neca will try another three. And she'll have a hard time being a player for her in, or in an organization led by her. But Cannon, a veteran who's been around, started this season with Phoenix. But now back with Indiana, a team she played with last season as well. Here's Neca off the slip. Here's the slip underneath. Egbo misses it at the rim. Oh, she blew the bunny twice. Neca underneath. Left hand good. Do some adjusting to take away Neca's easy looks. LA now in the bonus. Sports women in the game, and there she just couldn't resist a little eye roll as she saw the complaint. This season, and these two, the Mercury and the Sparks played a game at CSUN earlier. Are here for Indy. A timely 8 0 run from the future perspective. Looked like LA was starting to get a handle on this one on a 12 5 run, but. Since Smith has come back in, Fever scored eight straight, and there her pass stolen away there by Lexi Brown. Numbers for LA. Brown bounce pass, Neca lay it up and in. One free throw here will become the biggest lead for the Sparks. So getting it at the right time. 38 is her career high. In case you're wondering, it's been a quiet night for Kelsey Mitchell. That last. Play equated to the 22nd turnover of the night for Indiana, which is a new season high. Here's Neca, and that's 34 on the season. You think about her play, 